Good morning. Thanks for joining us for a daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The fifth mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful consumption, I vow to cultivate good health, both physical and mental, for myself, my family, and my society, by practicing mindful eating, drinking, and consuming. I will ingest only items that preserve peace, well-being, and joy in my body, in my consciousness, and in the collective body and consciousness of my family and society. I'm determined not to use alcohol or any other items that contain toxins, such as certain TV programs, magazines, books, films, and conversations. I'm aware that to damage my body or my consciousness with these poisons is to betray my ancestors, my parents, my society, and future generations. I will work to transform violence, fear, anger, and confusion in myself and in society by practicing a diet for myself and for society. I understand that a proper diet is crucial for self-transformation and the transformation of society. For our Dharma lessons, we've been reading Ajahn Amaro's book, Catastrophe, Apostrophe. This morning, we're beginning a section on compassionate action and the attitudes of a well-rounded person. We do what is possible to bring our practice to our working life, our family, our relationships. As we engage with other people, we might notice that if we pay attention to ourselves, we automatically adjust to the group and the group adjusts to us. Human life is a relational experience. Even when we are not talking, we respect each other's presence. We care about each other. We make space for each other. We are existing in a relational state. We carry into our lives that spirit of natural care and attention and harmonization with others. This is what I would call living according to the middle way. It means the development of the Eightfold Path in order to cultivate life as a well-rounded person, a Sakurisa. We, too, can be that very kind of good person that is useful to associate with, which is a compassionate offering to others, as well as being beneficial to ourselves. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me today.